Hey everyone, welcome back. This week I will talk about Neptune, the eighth planet in our solar system and the last to be discovered. Neptune is the furthest from the sun with an average distance of 2.8 billion miles and an average temperature of negative 353 degrees Fahrenheit. Neptune is an icy giant and the windiest planet in our solar system, with wind speeds up to 1,200 miles per hour. Neptune is very similar to Uranus in many ways. One being that they are both made of the same structure of water, ammonia, and methane above a small rocky core, and an atmosphere made up of hydrogen, helium, and methane. However, Neptune is a bright blue color, whereas Uranus is more of a bluish green color. And this is due to Neptune having less methane and other components that are not yet known to scientists. Galileo first recorded Neptune as a fixed star, rather than a planet, after observing it with a small telescope in 1612 and 1613. Then nearly 200 years later, Neptune was the first planet to be located using mathematical predictions rather than regular study of the sky. Neptune was officially discovered using calculations made by a French mathematician in 1846. It takes Neptune 165 Earth years to complete a single orbit around the Sun. In 2011, Neptune made its first complete orbit around the Sun since its discovery in 1846. Even though a year on Neptune is very long, a day is much shorter, with it only being about 16 hours long. Neptune rotates on a similar axis to Earth, so it probably experiences seasons just like we do. However, because a year on Neptune is so long, each season is probably about 40 years. It would take about 12 years to get from Earth to Neptune, and is the only planet that cannot be seen by the naked eye. And like Uranus, Neptune has only been visited by one spacecraft in the past. Voyager 2 traveled to Neptune after flying by Uranus and reached this distant blue planet in 1989. When Voyager flew by, it discovered a storm named the Great Dark Spot. This storm has disappeared since then, and other storms have appeared on this planet over the years. Neptune was named after the Roman god of the sea, and all of its 13 known moons were named after less popular sea gods or nymphs in Greek mythology. Triton is Neptune's largest moon and was discovered just 17 days after Neptune in 1846. Triton is the only large moon that circles its planet in the opposite direction of the planet, which suggests it might have been an independent object captured from Neptune's gravitational pull. Did you enjoy this week's video on Neptune? I sure hope you're learning a lot from my video so I'll come back next week for my last video. For now, on topics about space. With Neptune being the last planet in our solar system, can you guess what next week's video will be about? Well, stay tuned to find out. Goodbye for now. Trixie, stop it! Sit right here. Through... Trixie, stop it! After observing it with a small... I said observing. Since its discovery in 1986. No, no, it's 1846.